everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's Jason Matuk here, your favorite guy on YouTube in general, and I brought you to Pinecrest. If you don't know where Pinecrest is, we're neighboring Coral Gables. It's a sunny day in South Florida, and I'm showing you a brand new built this year. There's a guy still working on it in the back, built in 2023 home. This home has eight bedrooms, nine and a half bathrooms. It's got 12,124 total square feet, sitting on a 50,520 square foot lot. And for you people bad at math, that's over an acre. And the asking price on this home, Eric, care to guess? It's 10 million. 10? Yeah. It's asking 10.25 million. That's $10,250,000. And before we get started, I'd like to say thank you to my friend, Oscar, the listing agent of this property for allowing Eric and I to walk through this place and show you around. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So let's cue some cinematic scenes and then we'll start with the front and head inside. So coming up this driveway, an incredible feature is this crossword looking driveway with the faux grass in between. It's perfectly done and because it's fake grass, it's going to always look like this. Your home is always going to look like a section of House Digest. And then, we, is it House Digest? Is that, like, is that a magazine? Anyway, three bays for your garage and check it out on the door, on the ceiling, you have Peruvian teak wood. That's something that you would see on like a valuable bench in your house. Nope, that's just on your garage door protecting your cars and you have three of them. It's also a separate feature from the home, but it has a covered area right over here and you can fit two cars in this carport. So you basically have covered parking for five access if it's raining straight inside and you can go in through there. It's pretty ideal and the roundabout of this driveway it makes it perfect for entertaining. People come in, people come out. There's no, hey, move, who's driving the blue Lexus? Blue Lexus, none of that. We're just leaving. This looks like a $30 million entrance to me. And I say that because I've seen a home that's $30 million with this entrance. But of course, we're not in that price range and you're still getting it. As soon as my feet leave this faux grass, now I'm on some coral. Stepping on up, you have two water features, one on each side. In between the steps, you have water underneath. We're basically walking across a bridge coming to this home, essentially. It's a nice peaceful feeling. The teak wood above me, I feel like I'm in Bali on vacation. The fact that I get to call this work is unbelievable. Let's head inside. I'm gonna show you the interior of this home. There's a lot you haven't seen. There's a movie theater, a beautiful bedroom, and a backyard that will make you wanna cancel your resort membership fee. Let's head inside. Stepping in. And just like I said outside, tell me I'm not in Bali right now. I'm looking at a gazebo with seating and a waterfall. I'm in paradise right now. And so when you come in, this is like your formal seating. You have a formal dining over here and just look what's surrounding you. There's this wine room under the stairs. What great utilization. Instead of having just storage for your like smelly jacket, beautiful wine bottles, the crates that are carried by the wine. Are we in a vineyard? I don't know. But sitting here having your formal meal with these high ceilings, it makes you feel like you're in a private restaurant. You have a seating over here. This is just casual chatting, no TV. This is just for good, wholesome family conversation. From here, I wanna take you into the kitchen, show you where you can prepare some meals, watch some TV, the more laid back stuff. Into your kitchen. We have an Italian kitchen, as you can see. The countertop waterfalls all the way down. Wolf gas range with the hidden vent above the ovens, the coffee maker, you have your fridge and freezer over here. You also have a wine cooler down below, and if that wasn't big enough for you, it's a smaller one. You have the tall boy wine cooler over here. If you didn't feel like having a formal meal, you have a casual dining setting over here. Let's call this the breakfast table. And then it just melts into your TV room. What a place to watch TV. It's amazing. You have the view of your private backyard. Since you're sitting on over an acre, there's not really much to look at besides trees and your happy guests enjoying their time here. And this is where you sit and you watch the World Cup as you come into here. You got your theater. This is your private theater, plush carpeted floors. And it's not those like uncomfortable, like one person, like chairs. You have a 
juicy couch, the accent lighting, the surround sound speakers, and then unlike other homes where they just get a room, put a couch from Ikea, and put a TV on the wall. Stay right there, Eric, look at the size of this. Theater, an actual theater with projection screen. Just to bring your head back into kitchen mode, this is the kitchen, and then in here is your walk-in pantry. Look how much space you get. This is truly a walk-in pantry. It's bigger than my wingspan. And then it also has, right here, Eric, look at this. It has it right there too. So you have tons of storage. And then down here, you just have laundry and you have your staff quarters. They have their own bedroom and bathroom and that's access to the garage. So if it's raining and you wanna come through or if your staff wanna come through, they can just access it right there and come straight to the kitchen, help you out with whatever you need. And then here's your half bathroom. Ladies, if you're watching this, if there's any ladies watching this, I, I, I think you would love this because it's like not as masculine. Everything here is light. It's not gray and black. It's light and you have the white wood Mia Ticina cabinetry, the sleek sink, and then your water closet's in there. Fantastic. And let's cross all the way down. Into here, we have your office. This is where the executive comes and makes moves. I love this space. I love how it's separated from everybody else. It makes sense. It works. Down here. We're gonna take a look at the official first guest bedroom. Queen size bed, your ensuite over here, a walk-in closet, perfect for the guest. They also have some closets on the wall over here. So you really have more closet space than just that, but. Then over here we have your cabana bath. It's so spacious, and tell me this is like you're, like you're at a hotel by the beach. Everything's light and beech wood and fresh and clean, and that's access right outside. And then just across is a feature that I think a lot of people at home would like, especially with the recent bout of COVID going around, everyone's getting it again. Look at this, gym. Workout at home. Have you guys ever done Peloton? I'm not sponsored by them, but they should really sponsor me because this thing's great. But I'm gonna stop talking about it because they did not sponsor me. Anyway, you have places to work out, lift, and while you're sitting here working out, pool, waterfall, privacy. And so I think actually it would be a good point to just exit through here so I can show you outside and what it has to offer. Stepping out. I love this. This is, to me, this is better than living on the water. It's private. This is a place where you could sit down, smoke a cigar, laugh, talk, live. I'm about to get that put on a sign and sell it at Target. As we turn to my left, we have your ginormous, yes, that's a real word, pool. Look at this. I love the color of the finish. Once again, it's very Bali. Just by the main entrance where the living room was, you have a couple seats over there. Even just looking at this, the wall, it's just, this is all beautiful. I love the bars on the window and the trees. There's just two trees right there. Gorgeous. The landscaping is phenomenal. We'll walk down a little further. Look how big this shallow end is. We, listen, if you have a woman in your life, if you have a sister, a mother, you know they hate getting their hair wet. This is a dream. You have your jacuzzi. When's the last time you saw a house with two waterfalls? It waterfalls from the ceiling, then waterfalls in the pool. If there was one more waterfall, I'd have called National Geographic. Get a special written about this house. When we step in, you know what I see here? I see people playing football. I see kids kicking the soccer ball around. Oh my, laps. Hey, can we go to Uncle Joe's house? He's got the backyard. Uncle Joe, don't you want this house? And then the cool thing is besides just like having the open garden, there's like little gardens on each side. It's like an English garden. Look, look. A little path here. Plant your like Bogan Villa. It's just, and in your, look, look, look. Privacy. No sounds of traffic. No airplane flying overhead like in Miami. This is a different level of privacy. And then check this out. Summer's Kitchen over here. Brand new. Look at that finish, same as the kitchen. You got your bull grill, fridge. You got everything you need right here to cook a delicious burger. Uncle Joe, my man, you're winning. The nephews love you. You've got it all. Amazing. So from here, I'm gonna take you back inside. We're gonna head upstairs. I'm gonna show you the rest of the guest bedrooms. I'm gonna show you the main suite. 
and you're not gonna wanna miss it. So subscribe and follow me inside. Upstairs to the second floor. Follow me down. And while we're walking down, can we please just talk about this for a second? Somebody say something. I'm scared of the silence. You have this open living room, huge ceilings. I can see the pool, the waterfall. This light fixture is luring me in like some bait. And then into your upstairs living room. It's like a second living room. You have, if you have a lot of guests, if you have kids in the house, this is where they play video games, watch the TV, keep everything separated. Let me walk down over here. This is access to the balcony, but you also get that access in the guest bedroom. So let me just take you into the first guest bedroom of the second story. We have your queen size bed. You can see the view is amazing. Walk-in closet that just turns into your ensuite. And in the ensuite, you have a walk-in shower with a window at the top, letting in some natural light. Sign me up. I'll take a shower in there and I'll just quickly show you while we're here, this balcony. the balcony it's beautiful and like I said you have access to over there so if someone's in this room and you still want to go outside you can it's not secluded to whoever's in here you know you get the, sis the sister in here who's angry no one comes in you, you don't lose the balcony you know you know what I mean if you have an older sister you know what I mean down over here we have another guest bedroom with an ensuite down a little further this is staged as like a little game room but this is basically a place where you can chill, maybe put a pull-out couch, get a little work done. It has an ensuite, it has a closet, and then you have access to a balcony. Just like the other room that we saw, this one can be accessed from the hallway, so no angry older sister, older brother. And you have a balcony out here where you can just hang out, listen to the waterfall, enjoy the privacy of living in Pinecrest, so from here, I want to head back inside. I want to take you to the main wing and we'll see two more guest bedrooms and then the main suite. Let's go take a look. Down to the, I call this the main wing side because this is where the main suite is, but the main suite is over there. We're going to take a look just in this corner real quick. You have a huge guest suite in here with its own ensuite, walk-in closet, and then you have the same on this side. This is almost like a VIP suite. Look at the size. You have corner windows, tons of closet space and then it turns into like a corner closet and then your ensuite over there and i love that just from looking out these windows it's so high up you just see the top of the trees but this room as great as it is does not compare to the main suite i'm about to put your socks in a prime box and get prime delivery to the next house over about to blow them off on the way to the suite you have a wet bar this is where you put the bottle of rose this is where you put the coffee machine you wake up you go coffee then while you tap the coffee in your hand you come over here look out see the kids down there playing around I've done well I've done well you say and then so into here you know that there's a double door I gotta do it the main suite come inside with me it takes you right into a sitting area with a little baccarat what is this called again bagamon bag gammon a little bag gammon baccarat's a crystal a couple places to sit tv on the wall and then you have your king size bed peruvian wood from the ceiling to the wall this is an incredible layout and then just from the bed you have your walk-in closet over here look at this thing are we going to the back rooms of louis vuitton i don't know you tell me tell look at the organization of this this oh this is where you put the hue blow the patek the ottermar you slide it back in and then you have it for display it becomes an art piece it's willy wonka in this house there's just tricks left and right this island has storage there's storage on the wall there's shoe walls how about this ladies and gentlemen i'll say gentlemen there's a bluetooth backlit vanity right here this is where you get your eyebrows, tweeze, your makeup done, you look really good. Buy yourself a new handbag on Jason. Some storage on here for your makeup and your brushes. This is a dream for any man, woman, or child. So we're gonna come back into the room now. And then 
One quick feature before we even get to the bathroom is that down here you have another closet. So if you needed more space, let's say you, you know, you guys got into a fight, you know, don't be my space. Look, I'm not gonna, I'm, you're complaining, I'm not complaining. You got all the space. This is more than enough. Natural light at the top, so you can get that in, and then floor to ceiling mirror. Well, floor to, it's your full body mirror for your full body. And so let's, let's cut the cheese. <laughs> let's cut to the chase. Let's go look at the main bathroom. How amazing is this? Soaking tub, this massive walk-in shower with some light at the top. You have sinks separated, water closets separated. You come together in the shower, you kiss, you make up, you love each other. Or if you're alone, you just have a great shower. And down on this side, just like the other side, another wall of closets. And then finally, the greatest feature, the final feature is your private balcony overlooking the backyard. Your private balcony overlooking it all. Everything we talked about already, I don't have to repeat myself. You saw it, rewind the video if you wanna see it again. Maybe watch another ad, who knows. I just wanna say thank you for coming on this tour with me. Once again, my name is Jason Matuk. I am the man and I'm here with Eric Rossi doing his thing and if you could please support this channel by spanking that subscribe button like this video it would be much appreciated and if you want to see more tours like this you know where i'll be and i just want to say that i love you i care about you care about you more than any other youtuber cares about their audience and that's a fact and i will see you in the next one call your mom right now call your dad tell them hey listen i'm sorry i've underappreciated you over the years i really love you and then hang up